good morning good morning good morning so um holy spirit released the word to me this morning so i decided to bring you all on my morning walk with me um because i'm not gonna release a word unless it's directly from him so um you know in my quiet time this morning um <laughs> What popped in my head, um, the question that came into my mind was, you know, or should I say the phrase, um, which we've all heard at some point or saw the memes or whatever the case may be, do it scared. <laughs> and <laughs> I had a lot of, lot of questions for God in my, you know, quiet time this morning, my prayer time this morning. And literally when I got quiet and um, you know, started listening. That was the first thing I heard was do it scared. <laughs> so I wanted to encourage you <laughs> this morning, <laughs> um, <laughs> just as I have been encouraged and even put a little word behind it to do it scared because we see the phrase, we know what the phrase means. Um, but here's the thing, <laughs> yes, do it scared. However, when you step out, <laughs> make sure you're stepping out in faith and on faith. Make sure that you have God behind that decision. Make sure that you have a prayer life to back up the fact that God is behind that decision. You know, and don't get me wrong, you know, sometimes we step out, things don't go the way we expect them to go, you know, but if we stay grounded in our word and wait to hear from him before we just leap out there, my oh my, let me just tell you, because what we don't understand, what we don't sometimes, you know, in life, we go through so many obstacles, we get caught up in so many different things. We lose sight of who we are in those things. And, you know, what I've learned <laughs> in my experience through life is, you know, we are our own. Ooh, Worst critic, critics, <sighs> spiderweb, y'all, spiderweb. You see how quickly the enemy <laughs> will try to trip you up? <laughs> and <laughs> even in that, <laughs> you see how Holy Spirit is still working. Because just from that, there is a spiderweb literally dangling from my phone. <laughs> and <laughs> just like that, <laughs> you know, the enemy tries to discourage you <laughs> from the things that God has promised you and you have set your mind to. And you just have to stay grounded in your word and, you know, spend time with him daily. Him being God, Christ, Holy Spirit, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And, you know, begin to find your identity in and through him. <laughs> because that's when you begin to see yourself is he sees you and you n begin to understand and know your worth and are not willing to accept anything less so you know i don't want to rant or keep going on and on but i just wanted to give you that tidbit of information that you know even when you don't see him in it he's in it and the moment you decide to dedicate and sit in his presence daily, he begins to show you who you are. And all of that insecurity and that self-doubt and that unworthiness begins to fall off. <laughs> and then before you know it, you are living and breathing and walking in the things that he has promised you. So until the next time, I just say, 
you all stay encouraged. Continue to put your best foot forward. And until the next time, keep growing and glowing. I'm sorry, glowing and growing. I love you. And I'm out.